Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will understand how to create sprint backlog in Jira. In the previous tutorial, we have understood how to create the product backlog. Now, once you have the product backlog ready, let's understand how you can create the sprint backlog within Jira project. Now, there are certain prerequisites before you go ahead and start creating the sprint backlog and the prerequisites basically in terms of Jira setup is basically that you, you need to have your Scrum project created already and then you should be having your uh, project backlog ready with the issues. And in the actual scenarios, the product backlog will be ready and also uh, it will be groomed. And when we say product backlog grooming, it means that the backlog or the work items in the pro uh, in the project backlog are uh, well defined and they are in a such state that they can be picked up within the sprint which is nothing but a time boxed iteration of two to four week cycle and can be built or that work item or story can be built and implemented within that time boxed iteration okay so let me open one project where we have created um, our project backlog and this is our sample scrum project and this is the sample uh, stories that I have created in the backlog right so we have understood the epics that we have created and the stories within those epics so let me create few more epic a few more stories within these epics and then uh, I'll show you how to create the sprint backlog right so that one is created as well and then one more so let me uh, associate these two portal registration epic so to associate these here either you simply create an issue just by clicking this create issue link or you can open the issue detail and uh, edit the epic details right so epic link here so i'll choose portal registration and portal registration of ssp1 right so that's the project so i'll just choose that one and then i'll choose other story or i'll choose the link for the other story as ssp1 as well right so now you can see the epic link has been updated for these user stories okay so now we have the project we have the scrum project created we have the product backlog also created now in the actual scenarios, you will have the user stories well defined. There will be acceptance criteria defined within the user stories. Uh, there will be, you know, like uh, estimation that will be done. You will have story points and then you'll start picking up the user stories to within the sprint. So now to start creating your sprint backlog, the first thing you have to do is basically create the sprint. OK, so to create a sprint, simply click on create sprint. And remember, this is our classic software project or classic Scrum project. OK, so this is classic Scrum project and the layout is for the classic Scrum project. Now, once I have created the sprint, you can see that I can now plan my sprint. And from this is my product backlog here. What so whatever items are there are the product backlog based on the initiative uh, that, uh, you know, drives that particular project and now within two to four weeks cycle what you want to achieve so that you can simply drag and drop the user stories so for example i want to finish um three stories or four stories out of the backlog stories that i have within this particular sprint so what i'll do is i'll simply drag and drop so this activity uh, you know happens as a team when you are working as an agile team you come together so the whole team come to comes together and they discuss what all items can be picked up and that forms the sprint backlog and this uh, these four items here within the sprint are basically the sprint backlog now right now once you have the sprint backlog ready and the work items being added within the sprint you can now start the sprint and start working on the sprint backlog or the work items that had been added into the sprint. So I'll simply say start sprint 
once you'll click on start sprint it will uh, you can change the sprint name here if you want to uh, duration is uh, basically in you know, like uh, custom at the moment and by default what it will do is so whatever date you are starting this print and um, it will pick two weeks from now as the sprint so that's most of the project or most of the places you will go the standard sprint duration is two weeks right so iteration is of two weeks so it will pick the dates automatically and if you want to change it to you know like other duration say three weeks or four weeks or custom so you can choose that right so by default two weeks will be picked up uh, even if you you know choose the custom uh, and then i'll simply say start the sprint okay now in the sprint goal you have to specify what exactly uh, as a business value you want to achieve out of this print so you specify the business value text here that that is targeted to be achieved as part of this print once you define the sprint goal uh, simply click on start and the sprint starts and this is basically your sprint backlog that we have added within this particular sprint now this is how you create the sprint backlog into classic scrum project in jira cloud now let's go to the next gen scrum project okay so we have next gen scrum sample as well so i'll open next gen scrum project and the process to create the sprint backlog is same in the next gen project as well so there is not much difference simply you have to go to the backlog and in the backlog uh, what you have to do is you have to basically first thing is to have the project so project is there there is a project backlog as well in there are some items in the backlog now the first thing you have to do is to basically create the sprint and you can see that uh, sprint one has been created and now i have to plan this sprint so i i can drag the issues from backlog that i want to work as a team uh, within you know two weeks or four weeks iteration or sprint and then I can start working on those items say for example in this project I want to uh, or my team has decided we'll complete two stories within this particular sprint so we'll have a discussion uh, around these two stories we'll um, define the unknowns or we'll uh, you know most of the time these stories will be well defined and groomed that you will be able to pick them and actually start working uh, but in case there are some doubts that can be also discussed within the team when you are planning your sprint then once you have pulled these work items or stories within the sprint the next thing is again to start the sprint and once you will start the sprint in next gen project as well you will find similar options uh, sprint name you can change if you want to duration by default will be two weeks and you have to specify the sprint goal so whatever business value needs to be achieved as part of the sprint you specify that sprint goal and start the sprint once the sprint is is uh, started you will see the work items that we have been uh, we have selected as part of the sprint backlog will appear on the board right so this becomes your sprint backlog or the work items or the requirements that need to be completed within the iteration or the sprint duration that has been defined for your team okay so at this point we have 10 days sprint or two weeks sprint so this uh, shows as 10 days remaining to complete this sprint backlog or the work items within this particular sprint so that's how you will create the sprint backlog in jira cloud projects so be it you know like next gen scrum project or classic scrum project now because sprint is a time box iteration it it doesn't have um, uh, or it's not relevant for kanban project all right because kanban is mostly for the continuous flow of work and when we say fixed time box iteration it is more relevant for the product development or scrum um, approach so that's why creating the sprint backlog will be for available for the scrum project whether it's a next gen scrum project or the classic scrum project in jira cloud so that's all for this this tutorial hope you like it 
Thank you very much for watching.